What's up guys, Matt Laidlaw here, coming to you from Laidlaw's Harley-Davidson, LA area's oldest, largest, and finest Harley-Davidson dealership. So whenever one of my customers does something real cool and special to their bike, I like to take some video footage of it and throw it up on the YouTube channel for you guys to check out. So this first bike is owned by Danny. Um, this is a, I wanna say 2015 or 2016 Street Glide Special that he bought from us and has since just completely decked it out to basically a show bike that could take home trophies at you know a lot of shows out there. So he basically uh, bought the entire Arlen S catalog and put it on his bike. So everything you see on this thing is all Arlen S. You got the intake, the air cleaner there, the rocker box covers, you know all the covers on the engine, the transmission, uh, the cam cover. Um, yeah, just uh, the floorboards, uh, the shifter arms and pegs there. You got your rear brake cylinder there, uh, all Arlen S. Super, super nice. About as, as premium as you can get in, in parts. So yeah, really nice stuff. And um, yeah, the floorboards, these are really big floorboards. The wheel, I wanna say, is a 23 inch wheel. Uh, I don't remember the manufacturer on this, he told me, but I didn't write it down, so I forgot. But you got those upper fork sliders as well, like the beer cans, some people call them. I'm pretty sure those are Arlen S as well. The gas uh, door cover. This is a La Para seat, super nice seat. Uh, the, the paint job here was done by Seth at Aggressive Designs. He's a, a local custom painter that we use quite a bit. His work is second to none. He does super nice work. These bags are top shop bags. Um, in past videos, I've said that Harley Davidson makes the best stretch bags. I still stand by that. Um, but if you want a bag that is a full depth that is doesn't taper down, um, Top Shop is probably the best aftermarket company that makes stretch bags that I've come across. They make really good, high quality stuff, and that you know comes with the fender. So you got more of you know, the full wraparound, tight, real tight wraparound on the exhaust. Uh, all the latches and everything on the saddlebags are all Arlen S, I'm guessing. Uh, derby cover there on the primary, all, all Arlen S, horn cover, center console there, all the Ness stuff, color matched inner fairing. I believe these are factory 47 bars. Arlen S grips as well, all matching. Uh, brake master cylinder up there, all Arlen S. Yeah, this prime co uh, primary cover uh, is super nice, obviously Arlen S. And the floorboards. This is not cheap stuff, guys. Um, there's a lot of money invested in this thing, as I'm sure a lot of you would, would imagine. The, the crash bar of the engine guard on here, I'm not sure who makes that. I would guess Arlen S, but I'm not sure. You got the uh, the spark plug bridge covers there as well. I mean, even these the details like this bullet turn signals, all Arlen S. It's all that contrast cut stuff where you get the black and raw aluminum on there. Blacked out front end, obviously. Matching rotors to the wheel. And gauges are all kind of highlighted in blue. Arlen S uh, fob there to lock your, your fork lock and everything. Yeah, the, you can see the lettering and the numbers on the, the tack and the speedo are all blue color matched and stuff. Got the kind of fancy speaker grills there as well. You got some Roland, Stan, Roland Sands clutch and brake levers on here. I want to say the brake master cylinder and the, the clutch master cylinder are Arlen S. Roland Sands front brake lever. So yeah, really, really nice. You got the shrouds, the, the two covers that go underneath the seat there that kind of transition from the side to the, the saddlebags. Um, I wanna say those are Top Shop as well. So you can see that kind of has that real custom sweeping look. It's a look that Harley Davidson actually just started adopting in this recent model year. If you guys saw my radiation build video, uh, that build utilized uh, the Harley Davidson covers that are similar to the covers you see on this bike. And uh, again, this rear fender is super custom. I believe it's a top shop as well. Passenger pegs, of course, all Arlen S. 
So yeah, super, super nice bike. Spared no expense. There's really not a whole lot left to do on a bike like this, so we'll fire it up here. Okay, so this next bike is pretty awesome. This is a pre-Rushmore bike, so pre-2014 model year, so it has the old style fairing. This is either a, I wanna say 2012 or 2013 Street Glide, all blacked out. You got a 21 inch wheel, blacked out front end. So here's what I like about the bike. So this bike has the full collection of Roland Sands Clarity line on it. So you've got the, the clear window on the air cleaner, the cam cover, and then the side transmission cover. So. You can kind of see the internals and the guts of, of the bike operating on those three different components there, along with the other side as well, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, I want to say these are Roland Sands bars as well. Real cool, like signature bar that Roland Sands has. Grips are Harley Davidson uh, diamond grips. Again, you can see this is the old style radio, so it's pre 2014 model year. And everything's all blacked out on this bike. So you got the. Uh, the derby cover on this bike that you know you can see the the clutch in there so Roland Sands clarity line and these covers are definitely not cheap that's for sure I believe this is a Roland Sands seat as well this bike's got the uh, a real flush I want to say this is the Baghdad uh, rear fender kit for this bike so you got the stretch saddle bags on there and the, the fender that you know, complements those bags. You got the saddlebag speakers in there as well. And uh, yeah, just a real mean looking street glide there. Okay, so this next bike is a 2014 CVO Road King. So he did some nice stuff on here. Uh, I believe this is the Performance Machine Heathen 21 inch front wheel with the matching rotors. Real nice looking wheel. They put the passing lamps on there, the blacked out passing lamps to give it extra lighting, the LED lights on there. But a lot of this, what you see on here is stock and that's the beauty of a CVO, you know, your, your heavy breather. Uh, I believe that's a more updated uh, air cleaner cone there. He uh, put some bars on here. I believe these are either 16 or 18 inch ape hanger bars. Paints all factory custom. factory stock I should say seats all factory this is OEM parts the grips were kind of a nice touch those are genuine Harley Davidson tribal grips the tribal grips look really good with this paint because you got kind of a, a, a tribal theme to the paint on here of course the CVOs come with this rear fascia that has the stretch bag look to it with the, the light bars in between the saddlebags and the fender back there And he put some highway pegs on there. And the tribal mirrors as well. Got the full LED headlamp set up there. A couple of other little small knickknacks on there. But just a really nice bike. So this is a 110. They didn't come out with the 114 on the CVOs until this year, the 2017 model year. This is a two-piece seat. This is just the stock OEM seat that comes on the CVOs. But I thought this was a nice Road King. I thought I'd show it off. This next bike is a 2017 Road Glide Special. We built this bike for uh, one of my favorite guys, one of our, our, my favorite customers that comes in and sees us. He's in law enforcement. Anyways, this is a blacked out Road Glide. And he left a lot of the stock chrome on there as well. So kind of a black and chrome contrast build. This is a wind vest windshield, really tall. He's a really big, tall guy, so he wanted it 
know, to keep the, the wind off of him, and he went with a really tall windshield. So it's got blacked out front end. Uh, a lot of stuff on here is a lot of stock parts. It's a 19 inch front wheel that's a stock, what they call the, uh, the enforcer front wheel. And he went with, I believe it's either 16 or 18 inch bars here. And this is either like a, like a factory 47 or a polyaffy bar or something like that. I'm not sure which, which brand it is. He went with the, a lot of the Defiance collection parts. That's Harley Davidson's brand new uh, controls collection. So the floorboards, brake pedal, passenger floorboards, uh, the highway pegs are all Defiance collection. It's a really nice collection. Harley did a good job on that this year. He went with uh, the Screaming Eagle mufflers on here with the Defiance Collection end caps. You can choose from multiple different end caps that Harley came out with. The saddlebags he have, has on here are the genuine Harley Davidson stretched bags. You also got the passenger backrest here with the stealth luggage rack. Once again, all genuine Harley Davidson right there. You got the LED turn signals in the rear there. That's a genuine Harley part. So the rear fascia is nice with the, the Harley Davidson bags and those Defiance Collection end caps there. Looks real good, goes along well with the whole theme of the bike. And on the left side here you can see the Defiance Collection passenger floorboards, the dark custom der derby cover. You can see how the bags kind of taper up as you get towards the front of the bike. That's to increase the lean angle, guys. A lot of times with the aftermarket bags, they're real, they're real low to the ground. They don't taper up, and so when you when you take a turn, they they scratch easy, and it's just heartbreaking when you scratch a bag on the ground. It's just that's a costly thing. So here's a close-up shot of the Defiance floorboards. I personally felt like Harley Davidson took a page out of like Arlen S's floorboards. Arlen S has always been known for their really big, long floorboards. And this year with the Defiance collection, Harley Davidson kind of went that route a little bit more. They made a real big, long floorboard on here. Once again, this is a big dude. He has real big feet. So the floorboards definitely suit him. Here's a close up shot of the grips. I'm a huge fan of these grips. They look really, really nice. There's a lot of really good detail in them. And they've got those rubber inserts on there. So. You know, for functional purposes, your your hand fits real good in them and, and won't slip. Here's another shot of the right side of the bike. He's got the heavy breather air cleaner on there. That's the genuine Harley Davidson part there. You can take that rain sock off, of course. And he's got the dark custom one cam timer cover to match the derby cover on the other side. Here's a close up of the passenger floorboards. Once again, the Defiance collection, they're like little mini versions of the rider floorboards. Looks really nice together. That's about it on that bike, guys. This next bike is a just a really nicely done 2017 Street Glide Special, all murdered out. This guy did a, a really good job at you know kind of designing the overall look of this bike. So he's got the passing lamps on there. Of course, they're the, the vivid black ones with the black LED lights in there. He powder coated his wheels, so those are the stock wheels, just black powder coated. He's got the stock bags on there, but all the covers on the engine, rocker box covers. Uh, he went to a ventilator, air cleaner, the cam cover, transmission cover. He got those all blacked out. Uh, handlebars, they're all blacked out. I believe these are the stock bars. And um, yeah, Harley Davidson grips on there. Just kept everything you know, pretty simple here, but at the same time, real nice blacked out the stretch covers everything on this bike you know that was chrome is now blacked out he utilized a lot of the stock parts on this build uh, and, and just either black powder coated them or just went to a black version of the parts the front forks all blacked out stock rotors stock wheels and uh, looks like he changed his windshield that's a Harley Davidson wind splitter windshield LED front turn signals on there but yeah, like his floorboards, stock, went to a blacked out exhaust system, but just a real clean bike. And, you know, he didn't spend a bunch of money on new parts, just, just powder coating and stuff, but it came out really nice. So this next bike is a 2017 Street Glide Special. So it has the new Milwaukee 8 engine in it. This is a 19 inch aggressor front wheel. It's a genuine Harley Davidson P&A wheel, chrome front end. The lighting you see in the front here is all custom dynamics. So the bracketry, the, the light housing is genuine Harley. 
but the turn signals and auxiliary passing lamps and the headlamp is all custom dynamics. They make some pretty nice stuff. This is the Superior Blue Paint, so factory custom paint. And I think this is a CNC seat. Real nice seat, really kicks you back further with the integrated backrest there, and it's just a solo seat, so you get the clean fender back there. And stock header pipes, but this bike has the CFR exhaust that we're gonna start up for you here in just a second. And um, yeah, I utilize a lot of the stock chrome parts on this bike. Custom Dynamics is known for really good turn signals. On my last Street Glide Special, that Sand Camel one I had, I used Custom Dynamics turn signals. They're incredibly bright. It's got the color matched interfering. So again, I'm not sure exactly what kind of seat this is. I knew at one point, but I forgot. I think it's a CNC to a, a local company to us. A lot of stock stuff, stock bags, stock rear fender. But he's got the, the color match fairing from the factory. We'll start this up for you. So that's about it guys. If you like the bikes here, give the video a thumbs up and uh, let me know what you would have done differently if anything. Thanks guys.